going on everybody? It's Titanic Fee Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel. Today we got a sneaker that we've been waiting for. Well, I have anyway been waiting for since its announcement. It comes to us in OG form for the first time since its release back in 1988. Without further ado, here we go. Take a look at the box. Black top, red joint jump man. You can see that that cement looking bottom, very bottom of the box. You can see the box label right there. I'm gonna go ahead and read it. Air Jordan 3 Retro color white, fire red, and black size 14. Retail price of 210 bucks. Here's a look inside the top. Inside the box top is red. Okay, and it did come with a retro card. Last time I seen the retro card was the 2011 Black Cement 3. And this one here is very flimsy. It's not even a card, it's paper. Uh, I actually still do have the uh, retro card because I still have my 2011 Black Cement 3s. Hold that though. Is the box for my Black Cement 3s. Look at the label from 2011. It was $160. $160. My goodness, the prices have changed drastically. Box top is still red. And look, the retro car still have it. Very different. This is the 2011 Black Seaman 3 Retro card versus the 2022 Fire Red Retro card. This flimsy paper versus this cardboard. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Oh, y'all want to see the sneakers too? Well, yeah, they need some work. The 2011s, yeah. Y'all can see kind of beat up y'all know anybody that can hook these up let me know leave that down in the comment section but let's get to why y'all came here the fire red three okay this is the fire red three paper you can see that cement peel it over also comes with white paper as well sail color kind of smooth on one side and we do not have a YDM sticker inside. And let's get to the reason we are here. Here we go, guys. The 2022 Air Jordan Retro 3 Fire Red. And looking at it, it is nice. It's nice all over. It comes on a white base. We have an all white base. Leather quality is pretty daggone good, guys. It's very good. A hey, uh you got that gray hit right here. You got the white on your uh, lace eyelets. You got the red up top and at the beginning of your laces. Uh, you got like a more of a smooth out leather right here on this little piece. But it's also soft as hell. And you got the cut on your uh, cement right here going around the toe and heel. It's almost the same color as it was in 88, but not quite as dark, but I'll take it. And you also have your red right here, fire red on that uh, midsole. And you got that hit of white going around your air housing clear bubble. And you can see inside you have a white housing on the inside with that tech gray at the bottom, which leads to the outsole. This is your Jordan Retro 3 also. As you can see, Nike there and Fire Red. And we have that hit of Fire Red right there. Tech Gray at the majority of it and a hit of white right here. And this is what we mean when we say this is the first time it is retro in its OG form. It has Nike Air on that back tab and the Fire Red colorway. And you got some nice red leather going around your ankle collar and you got that cement print going around here as well looking at the medial side of the sneaker some more of that good good soft leather haven't seen leather on threes like this in a while 
I'm very appreciative that Jordan threw these out of way. Got that tech gray hit right here. And you got your white plastic on your lace eyelash with the fire red up top and down here again, just like we had on the lateral side. Smooth out leather right here, but it's still soft to the touch. And you got your white on your midsole, along with that fire red and your clear bubble. And the white inside, just like the other side, with the tech gray at the very bottom. And give you a closer look at the, the cement print at the toe. And give you a look at that toe box. Nice soft leather. There you go. Kiss the toe box. Nice and soft. And you can see that widow peak right here. And it comes with only one set of laces. We have the white flat laces that it comes with. We have a soft leather tech gray tongue. And to the top of the tongue, you have some white leather with an embroidered Jumpman logo in the fire red colorway. Turn around, back of the tongue. You got some nice cotton fire red material on the back of the tongue. And there you go. You can see that size and tag. US size 14, production date. December 17, 2021 to February 26, 2022. So almost two months of production or a little over two months actually of production. You can see we have a tech gray sock liner going all around. Tech gray sock liner. It did come stuffed with tissue again. No cardboard shoe tree. We got tissue it can stuff with. And here's your insert. Fire red, white Nike Air branding on here, and you can see that size of sticker, men's size 14. And this is the back side of the uh, insert AJ11 QF8H. Y'all can see, says AJ11. Not sure you can see that, it says QF Quebec Foxtrot 8H, a hotel MS. Mike Sierra 14 and number 14 right there. So that's everything that it comes with. Let me know if y'all got y'all pairs. However, there are some the sizes rather that are still sitting in the store. So if you wear like the smaller size, like 9 to 11, you probably could just walk in your uh store and get a pair. I know they're still sitting locally, but this size. I think I seen City Gear post they had a size 14 sitting in like a eight and a half or nine or something still sitting. But uh sizing on these to me they've been running small. So I would need to upsize this size 14 is gonna be too exact. So I need a 15. I have one on the way actually. But this is the sneaker and it's very clean nonetheless. Probably I wanted to double up, but that is not likely now. So let me know your thoughts and comments down in the comment section. And I'm going to end the video off by saying, like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get their sneaker. Because you never know, it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.